leaving Africa by myself and coming to the United States, taking a 27 hour flight by myself, coming to Chicago by myself, never seen the snow ever, and going to O'Hare by myself, having six luggages by myself, and coming out of that airport, I cannot forget the day. I came out of O'Hare, it was 60 freaking degrees outside. It was 60 freaking degrees, right? And I left, I came out of the, 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 the terminal. I, I think it was Terminal 3 or something. Terminal 5, sorry, because I was an international terminal. And it was so cold, I ran back inside. And someone told me that it was swimming weather. I almost called my mom and said, what's the next flight back to Africa? Because I cannot live in this weather. Like, there is no way I'm leaving here, right? So the fact that I stayed, it was something bigger than myself. It's a lot of people that sacrifice a lot for a lot of us to be where we are today. And it, sometimes, mostly, often, it stems back to our parents, our loved ones. And looking back at all the sacrifices that were made, I cannot live on myself trying to meet the bare minimum because I know a lot of people want to be in my position. A lot of people want to be in my shoes. So why should I just accept what I can, the low hanging fruit when I know there is so much more out there and in life, in order for you to get the best fruits, you need to do more work and to take more risk. And those are the people that get better opportunities or at least understand how or recognize how to take advantage of those opportunities when they do present themselves. So where I'm from, the opportunities that I have, my life, the opportunities that I know that others would like to have that they do not have, there is no reason for me to be okay with just the bare minimum. I'm not okay being average at all.